1998's Blade. This one also stars Wesley Snipes as Blade. And in this one, Blade must team up with human hunters to take down an ancient race of vampires who want to spread genocide to not only the human race, but to the vampire race. Blade 2 for me is a huge mixed bag. It's not as fun as the original movie. I have a I have a lot more fun watching the original movie than I do with this one. Even though that this one's directed by Guillermo del Toro, it's a very well made movie. I think it's actually more well made than the first one. It's well shot. Every shot has thinking behind it because it's Guillermo del Toro. He plans his shots magnificently and what he's going to do with those shots. I do think it has a better story. It's just parts of this movie are a bit dull. And I do feel a little bit bored when I watch this movie as opposed to the first one. The first one's just pure entertainment. This one's an actual movie. I'm not counting that against this film. It's just, even though the story is superior, I feel like it, this, this movie does take itself a little bit more seriously than the first Blade. And that's something that I think was a strong suit with Blade, the original one, is that it didn't take itself so seriously. This one does. In some of the acting, character of Nyssa, played by Lenora Varela, it is what it is, I guess. She, I don't, she was alright in this movie. It's just, this movie just doesn't have the punch that the first one does, I don't think. It's got really horrendous special effects, I can say that. That sword fight between Blade and Nyssa at the beginning... You think the balloon people in the Matrix Reloaded is bad? Wait until you see this. That's horrendous. It did not age well. At the very least, I can say about that CGI is that it did not age well. This movie, I think, does suffer from sequelitis. I feel like there's a lot packed into this movie, and especially involving Norman Reedus' character. What happens with his character where he's actually working for the villains in this, instead of being the actual good guy like he's portrayed throughout the entire movie? There's a plot, yeah, that's a plot twist in this movie. It's just, I, I feel like that could have been, that, that didn't have to be there. I, I would rather have just Norman Reedus been the good guy or just have him straight out be the bad guy. I would have rather have done that. Then have this whole plot twist where it's like, oh, he's good, but now he's evil. There's just things like that in this movie. And I don't, it, what it really comes down to is not only the entertainment value for me with Blade 2, is not only whether or not it's more entertaining than the first one, but is this movie all that memorable? I feel like I don't remember anything about this movie. I remember the first one a ton. I don't remember anything about Blade 2. I'm surprised they even remembered the plot. I'm surprised they could tell you that much. Because I don't remember a single thing about this movie except for the balloon people, CGI, in that sword fight, and the acting, the visual aesthetic of the movie as a whole, the directing, the cinematography, all that stuff. It's just not a very memorable movie for me, despite probably being the superior movie. I know a lot of people that like this over Blade. Blade just has more entertainment value and I find it more memorable. This is probably the more well-made movie and is probably the superior movie in terms of story and character. But I'd rather watch the first one over this. And I don't think that's really... I don't think that's really a, a reach, you know? I don't think that's... I don't think that's far-fetched at all. I think the first one is a lot more fun. It definitely is. The way this movie looks, too, kind of reminds me of an Underworld movie, so that kind of takes me out of it a little bit. I don't think Blade 2 is bad by any means. It's just, for me, it's it, it lacks a little bit. It lacks a little bit of some of the silliness of the 90s. I get it. We're in a new, we're in, we're in new territory. This came out in 2002, so we're in the early 2000s. But it doesn't feel as much like an early 2000s comic book movie as some others do. Especially some movies that are released now, like Venom, feels like it should have been released in 1999 or 2000. I wanted it to feel more cheesy like the first one. I wanted it to have more of a sense of self-awareness like the first one. And it, it really doesn't. But there's no denying how well directed the movie is, how well shot the movie is. The color palette of the movie, even though I do feel like it feels like an un it looks like an underworld movie, there's 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 definitely thought from Guillermo del Toro behind 
the aesthetics of this movie, the visual representation minus the CGI, cinematography, the musical score, everything like that, even the acting. There's there's thoughts behind that. There's some brilliant things in there. It's just, I prefer the first one. And I don't hate Blade 2. I'm going to give Blade 2 a C. Don't hate Blade 2. It's just, I don't find it all that memorable, honestly. I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh my god, this is the best Blade movie. What are you talking about? For me, no. The first one, still all-time classic. Thank you for sticking with me for this 2019 Halloween spooktacular. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon for new releases, more horror movies, Halloween spooky theme-related movies. We're going to have fun. We're going to get through this. Thank you for watching. I will leave my link to my social media accounts in the description below. What did you guys think of Blade 2? If you have seen Blade 2, drop me a comment in the comment section below to let me know if you liked it more or less than the first one. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex Madden. I'll see you at the movies somewhere.